What's up, you guys? I'm here with the new video today. I'm here to have a quick discussion with you guys, and the question is very simple. I've actually received numerous Facebook uh, inbox messages about this, and the question is quite simple. Which build of Zodiacs will be the best in the game? And I ask this question because we all know that Raging Tempest is on its way. This weekend is a sneak preview. The cards are, you know, finally going to be TCG legal. Everyone, you know, has their eyes on this deck as it has shown in the OCG to be, you know, the be-all, end-all deck, the reign supreme deck. If you look at the Yu-Gi-Oh! organization, if you look at the latest, like literally the latest deck list from their tournaments, it's literally all Zodiacs. Like, all Zodiacs. Like, there's like nothing else. It's like all Zodiacs. And the thing is, the one thing I'll say about this engine that I really like is that it seems that you can splash it in damn near anything. I see that they're playing, you know, of course, the obligatory three copies of Mulmorat, but they're also including cards like Viper, the Triangle, you know, it just depends on what, you know, you're trying to accomplish with the Zodiac engine. The XYZs, of course, are all, you know, just really good cards. Um, I don't know what the ratios will be, like what people will play, it just depends. But as you guys have seen over the course, if you've been ch keeping up with the OCG, there are decks like Zodiac, just pure Zodiac Beast. There is Zodiac Metal Foes, Zodiac Infernoid, Zodiac Lightsworn, Zodiac anything, honestly. Like, I've seen a lot of decks come back to life. There's Zodiac Cosmos. There's so many different ways that you can go about playing this deck. I mean, I've seen as far as Speedroid, Zodiac, uh, Medulches. I mean, there are so many different ways that you can play this deck, especially with this engine. You know, Momorat is just insane. And the fact that it's going to be not as hard to get as, like, the other cards, it's going to be crazy to see what people end up doing. So the video will be short and sweet to the point is, what do you guys as players feel is going to be the best build? Personally, everyone's been asking my opinion. I've done a lot of research watching what the OCG has been doing. It has become quite clear that the Kaiju build of Zodiac Beast, in my opinion, is probably going to be the best. And with good reason. Interrupted Kaiju Slumber is still a full three. And the ability to just ride Geki aboard, you know, give your opponent a weak Kaiju, you take a powerful Kaiju, and then start doing your plays is ridiculous. Anything that can board wipe in Yu-Gi-Oh! is just really, really good. I've heard that because of... The way the deck plays, it's an OTK. Usually when you activate Slumber, it's like Slumber. If Slumber resolves, it's usually game. Of course, that also, you know, depends on what back rows your opponent has. But, I mean, we do play cards like Twin Twister, so back row a lot of times is not even an issue. But what I want to know is what do you guys think is going to be the best build? I personally feel that it's going to be the Kaiju build, and with good reason. If you guys need to check any of this out, be sure to check out YGO, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! organization website. You can learn about Zodiacs there. They're everywhere. They are the most represented deck in the entire metagame, and I feel that our metagame is about to shift to something like that. So I felt that it was appropriate to make this discussion video. Of course, I'm just highlighting all the Zodiac cards here for those of you who haven't seen them. There's the Thoroughblade, there's the Viper, there's the uh, Cluckle, it's funny, there's the, what is it, the Ravenna, there's the the Ram, and of course the Mulmorat, and of course your Triangle of the Zodiac Beast, and then all the XYZs, the Tigris, the Hammer Kong, the Lyca, Lyca, uh, the Drancia, everyone knows about Drancia, the Will... Wilbo and the Bullhorn. I just wanted to represent them all here. I don't know if they actually play the Zodiac Trap. There are a couple, but it'll be interesting to see what people do with this. So let me know in the comments below what builds you think will be the best and why. If you like open discussions like this to where you guys are answering the question, let me know. Be sure to represent that by leaving a like. Uh, I'm w willing to do more of these where I ask just you guys the opinion. I'll give my simple opinion, but I'd like to hear from you guys. If you guys like the discussions, let me know by leaving a like and let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.